All right, guys, what's up? We're just doing an unboxing and review of the new HP Envy 15TX360, which is HP's new edition of their convertible laptop. What we have here has the fourth generation Intel Core i5-4210U dual-core processor with Intel's regular graphics card. This is the 15.6 inch version. There's also a 13 inch version. This one has 6 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, and a 3 cell 43.5 three cell watt hour lithium ion battery. Comes in HP's pretty standard plastic and foam on the outside. All right, let's just do a quick look around of the outside of the computer. It's heavier than I thought it would be. All right, there you've got your headphone and microphone port and USB port. And also a volume rocker, which is nice for when you're in tablet mode. You can just use that as if it were a tablet, just with a normal volume rocker. There's the power button right there. This is the back with the hinges that go all the way around. And then on this side, we have your SD card slot. I believe that's the regular standard 10-in-1. We've got two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, your Ethernet port, and your power slot as long as a Kensington lock. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. This is what the keyboard looks like. Their newer version with the all aluminum keys instead of the black keys on the aluminum. It's got their new touchpad which allows you to scroll easier. Got Beats Audio. Flip it over. This is what it looks like in tablet mode. It just flips over nice and easy so that when you do that, the keyboard on the back is still exposed, but it is turned off. All right, so we're going to plug it in and power it up. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Just the normal setup stuff from HP, except there is one new thing that they did from previous computer models. Now you have the option, just like you would in a tablet, to um, lock your PC or get new um, or get information from your PC um, with a code that HP sends you just like you would with a phone or a t regular tablet. Now one thing I would also like to mention while this is setting up is that on the bottom of this is all aluminum compared to the previous which was plastic. So hopefully that will be much more durable. We're just waiting for this to finish up here. Alright guys, we're back. Now that does take about 10 minutes of you just sitting there watching it work before it'll actually let you start doing stuff. Now one thing I wanted to say about this, if we look at it from the side here, you can see maybe that the glass is really thick for the tablet. It comes out really durable from the regular as compared to this, which is kind of sunken back in behind it. So, back to the computer. This is touch screen, of course, pretty responsive. So let's go into Netflix. Because this has the Beats audio, want to test the sound. OK. 
Okay. Why this isn't working. Let's try again. Come on, HP, get your stuff together. All right, back here, there we go. I just wanted to test the sound real quick for you guys because it does have the Beats Audio. Now, even though it says Beats Audio, I've had some computers where the sound from the speakers is less than impressive, but when you plug in headphones, it becomes really impressive, so let's Let's see how just the stock speakers are on this. Here are all your things to adjust the volume right up here. The screen quality is good. We got the... Did you get the 1080p or the regular? No. Oh. I believe this is actually just the regular resolution and not the full HD. Yeah. Sound quality is pretty good. It's at its loudest setting right now. Which is plenty loud for watching a movie. So that is good. But... Let's be real, the reason why everyone wants this is because it's a tablet too. So let's flip it into tablet mode. It just flips over onto its back, just like that. And it looks like that now. Now this is a touch button that will take you back and forth between things. All right. Now you can also do this and it will automatically flip the screen so that you can use it just like this. Really easy. We'll go to the desktop. That's what the regular Windows 8 desktop looks like nowadays. Comes with Evernote installed, which is kind of nice. Stands for End User License Agreement. All right. We're just going to create an Evernote account real quick so we can show you guys how it's like to take notes and things. All right, guys. Now, while you're in the tablet position like we are right here, you can have the option of pulling up this full keyboard and it also has a number pad which comes up with it which is really nice and then to get rid of it you just click that button right there oh it has a whole bunch of emoticons too that is nice for you weirdos that like to use emoticons a lot it has all of your symbols all of your smiley faces and frowny faces and other things and then to get rid of it, you just push this button right here. And then to pull it up again, there's just an icon on the dash right there. Sorry, you guys, for the glare. This button right here brings it up. All right. So we're just going to finish creating this account. So from the side, that's what it looks like. It's not the most 
ergonomic thing I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't really match up that well, but it still looks nice, and it's very durable, very sturdy. So, you know, it's good enough. Not amazing, I would say, but... I think they could have done a better job making everything match up, but for what it is, it's still pretty cool. Got your air vents there, which is nice. There's one on the side and on the bottom. You can see that. And there is the volume rocker I was talking about earlier that allows you just like regular tablet to, um, just the volume without having to use any um, software interfaces. All right, so this is Evernote. Here, Ben, put it in the tent mode. All right. All right, guys, we're back. Just got it into paint here so I can show you guys how responsive the touchscreen is. It's actually really, really nice. Even with just a finger without using a stylus or anything, it's really just follows your finger very quickly. If you're taking notes in class or if you are drawing something, it'd be very easy, even with just your finger. Now, this is a capacitative screen and not a other kind of a touchscreen, that's the only kind that they really have nowadays, but if you were to just want to use a regular, like, you have to use a finger or a stylus, you can't just use like a fingernail, you can't just use a pen, it has to be a stylus or a finger in order for it to work, but that being said, it's still really, really good, it feels nice, it feels nice, it's nice and responsive. You can get plenty of accuracy with this, which is a problem, which I've noticed on some Dell um, laptops and other touchscreen things, you can't get very much accuracy. But that is our first glance review and unboxing of the new HP 15TX360. Hope you guys like it. So click the like button and also subscribe. Thanks a lot.